Hey guys, welcome back to the Spring Fury channel. Guys, today we're here for Pokemon Go. We've got a how to, so how to save the best bang for your buck on Pokemon Go. So um, a lot of us who play Pokemon Go, basically we would make purchases such as remote raid passes to try and get those legendary or those shiny uh, from those remote raids. We'd also try and get some adventure boxes, stuff like that, who get some more eggs and hatch some different kind of Pokemon and, you know, so forth and so on. So guys, basically here today, we're going to show you how to get the best bang for your buck. So guys, whoever makes purchases in the actual poker coins in the Pokemon Go shop section, if you just have a look down below, we have six options of purchasing Pokemon Go coins. So those six options we have there is 100 poker coins for $0.99, uh, 550 poker coins for $7.99, 1,200 poker coins for 14.99, uh, 2,500 poker coins for 30 dollars and 99 cents, 5,200 poker coins for 62.99, and 14,500 poker coins for 159 dollars and 99 cents. So those are our six options there. If you go to purchase an actual item through the shop and you don't have enough poker coins, it will. Uh, put you to the nearest one out of those six that is um, You know efficiently there to be able to purchase that package or that item So guys the best way to actually save money and I found this myself while playing the game and Just kind of playing the game going on catching things and so forth So basically I found the best option and to how to actually save money So if you look at those six options 1200 poker coins is going to cost you almost $15 one cent off So let's say 1200 poker coins $15 14,500 poker coins is $160 5,200 poker coins is $63 So you're always paying that little bit extra for those poker coins, but you're losing out and uh, basically you know, you're getting less poker coins for the actual value of the dollar. So if you look at the actual uh, first option, which is 100 poker coins for $0.99, let's just round that up to a dollar, Australian dollars. So you are paying $1 for 100 poker coins. Well, if you look at it like that with that option, that $1 is getting you 100 poker coins. Now, if you look at the next option, which is $7.99 for 550 poker coins, when you're paying $8 for 450 poker coins when the option just before you can pay $1 for 100 poker coins you are actually losing out on how many poker coins you get so the best way that I found how to do is with uh, FaceTime actually connected to my iOS app I can then double click the side button and I would purchase 100 poker coins at a time yes it does take a little bit of time but you do save money in the long run because if I want 1200 poker coins, by doing it at a dollar a time, it's only going to cost me $12 instead of $15. So it's the same with any other option you do here. So if you want 2500 poker coins, it's going to cost you $31. But if I was to do it at 100 poker coins per hit, as I'm doing so, it's only going to cost me two, uh, sorry, $25 instead of $31. So if you have a look at it like that, you're actually saving quite a lot of money. I guess the games do this so it's more convenient for people but charge them more for the convenience. I mean, yeah, they're literally charging us for convenience. So guys, honestly, if I were you guys, I kind of like prep in advance before I go and purchase big packages and stuff like that. If you know, I've got a bit of time on my hands, I'll go to the shop. Purchase those poker coins, 100 poker coins at a time. So I'm making, I'm making sure I'm getting 100 poker coins for every dollar that I spend, and no more. So I would then set myself up, even if I had 1,800 poker coins in my bank, ready to go for when I wanted to purchase something on an event coming up. At least then I have spent my money, you know, the way I want to spend it without losing out. So guys, I really think. Uh, this would help a lot of people out there and I really hope it does help a lot of people out there and saving money So um, yeah, give it a go guys log on to Pokemon Go if you're a fan hit that shop up If you purchase a lot of things try this out try actually purchasing at 100 poker coins at a time um, You would honestly be better off in the long run So you'll save a lot more money and stuff like that put it towards bills Whatever you want stuff like that or uh, put it towards uh, some more Pokemon cards or something like that So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video today um as I said, I found this out just kind of doing my own thing. As you can see, so I've purchased my uh, adventure box, got my remote raid passes, and all of that cost me exactly what it should. Guys, have a lovely day. Make sure you hit a like on this video, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button, and we will catch you around on that next video. 
Thank you very much, guys, for watching us at the Supreme Fury channel. Take care, everyone.